oil spill uh, gave the public and especially legislators and, and managers the understanding of what Prince William Sound was. The beaches that were impacted are very remote. People can't, you can't drive to them, you can't easily even boat to them because they're, they're pretty remote. And there was this real disconnect from people understanding of what was really out there, what was still out there. Um, and the impact it would be when I bring a little jar of, of oiled sediments from a beach to people. The biggest, the biggest thing with this is because it just looks like dark soil, and but you can see the oil mm -hmm. blobs and the, mm -hmm. you just touch it, and there's the oil on the. The odor is the thing that definitely lets you know it's. Oh my gosh! Yeah, <laughs> it's completely petroleum. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So this was uh, the 18th of uh, March of this year. Wow. Eleanor Island. You know, I'd share them with the museum and with the Regional Citizens Advisory Council office and the Environmental Conservation Office and media and things like that. So it got to be a little almost obsessive. <laughs> it gets tiring to it. It can get a little depressing out here again on the beach 21 years later, you know, pulling up oil sediments. But the being, you know, that here it's just this little thing is actually um, compensating for the millions of dollars of propaganda that Exxon puts out, that everything is fine, don't worry. Uh, there's a, still thousands of gallons contaminating, you know, many acres of beach out in the Sound, and you can camp on that beach and enjoy it and not even know it's there. It's in little pockets. And behind big rocks or under big rocks or just under the clean soil. And it'll be out there for a long time because the, the oil that's in these sediments is cut off from oxygen and, and that's what's keeping any bacteria from breaking it down. And uh, People knew there was still oil in the beaches when they finished cleanup and walked away, but everybody said, oh, four, five, six years, Mother Nature will take care of it. Uh, the, the amount of time and money and effort for workers to continue after this oil isn't worth it. But, you know, but here, 20 years later, it's still there. The thing that bothers me about that is if I had a, a little gas station in the middle of Anchorage and I had a leaky fuel tank and it contaminated the soil around that fuel tank, I would have to rip up that pavement, dig up that fuel tank, bioremediate all those soils, it would it, and potentially bankrupt me and my business, and that happens. It bankrupts people cleaning up these things in the middle of a city. And here, the richest, most profitable company in the known universe is able to leave hundreds of contaminated sediments sites in a pristine wilderness area. is criminal to me. That's the comparison. I, I just don't. I don't get. If it was you or me, we'd have to clean that up to the point of bankruptcy but they're able to leave it.